welcome to Nikki's Crafty Corner. I'm Nikki. Welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if you're new here. I am so excited to have so many new subscribers. So welcome and thank you. It really means a lot to me to see so many of you subscribing over the last week or two. How is everyone doing? I hope you are all doing wonderful. This is a whipping chat. So before we get started, for those new people who might not know, what is a whip and chat? All right, a whip and chat is where we grab our works in progress or our unfinished projects and work on them together. So maybe you have craft projects you're doing. Maybe you have to clean the house. Maybe you're running to pick up the kids or running errands. Maybe you're going for a run and you just want some company. So I kind of work on my craft projects and tell you what's going on in my life for a little bit and keep you company. So I haven't done a whip and chat in about a week and a half, but it will probably be a short one regardless because there hasn't been much going on. That's why I haven't done a whip and chat. So, for those of you that are new here, tell me what crafts do you do? I will tell you what crafts I do. I diamond paint, obviously. I quilt, I embroider, I do vinyl crafts, I do sublimation, DTG, which is direct to garment printing. I do wreath making, um, I'm trying to think of all the things. I like to do, to get my hands dirty with everything that I can. I just always enjoyed crafts from the time I was probably in seventh grade. So I'm now well past seventh grade and still crafting. Um, I wish I had an awesome story of a grandmother teaching me or something like that. My grandmother taught me to cook. My occupational therapist taught me my love of crafts. So there's that. So what is your craft that you fall back on or your um, addiction? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Right now, I am working on a diamond painting by Reagan Kubisek. It is a Dreamers Designs diamond painting. It's called Duchess. She is about three quarters of the way done. I had hoped to finish her last week. Last week, I had basically no motivation. Have you ever had those weeks where you got no motivation? You have it in your head, but you just can't physically produce it. That was my week last week. It was kind of crazy. I woke up every day with the intentions to do, and I would start doing, and then I would just sit. I would, actually last week I probably spent about an hour and a half a day maybe diamond painting, which was big, and then that was it. And I would sit and I would look at it and I knew that I should be doing more. And I was just like, nope, I don't feel it. I'm going to watch TV and binge Netflix. It was just one of those weeks. So I would like to, I'm, rewind. I'm going to participate in the Hanathon, which if you don't know what that is, there is a Hannah Linathon where a group of diamond painters are going to get together in April, starting April 1st and work on diamond paintings by Hannah Lynn. There will be prizes and different things going on throughout the month, different contests, I guess, and we will, everybody will just be working on Hannah Lynn, who's a designer, if you don't know, an artist, working on her diamond paintings, diamond paintings of her artwork. So I have a beautiful Hannah Lynn canvas that I've been wanting to work on. And I want to get that kitted up and get going for April 1st, which is Friday. So I'm probably going to be finishing any diamond painting that I do on this for the time being tomorrow. 
So, um, yeah, that's the status on this for those of you that have been with me for a little bit. And I started on this, I'm a slow diamond painter. I started on this around Christmas. Before that, I was getting smaller ones done probably every two or three weeks. But this one is 60 by 80 centimeters. And this is the largest one I've ever done. And it kind of sidetracked me. So that's that. <laughs> um, I don't rush with them because I enjoy the process, which is okay, I think. So, um, whatever's, I'm not going to force myself to work on it when I'm not enjoying it because that kind of takes away from the crafting pro process for me and crafting is about relaxation for me. So, the, um, yeah, I don't want to make it a job or, you know, make it to where I don't like it. I've done that. I've turned my sewing into a business at one point and it became very overwhelming and when I didn't enjoy it that was hard and I'm sure some of you understand that who have done that as well so anyway so I am working on this what are you working on let me know in the comments so let me tell you about my last couple of weeks. Not, like I said, not much has been going on. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I realized spring is here, or spring was coming. Yeah, it was the week before spring, St. Patty's Day week. I realized spring is coming. I need to do something about planting my plants or getting my seeds started because I always start, I like to start with seeds for my herbs. I don't like to buy, um, starter plants. Um, so I decided to start my garden a few days before St. Patty's Day. So I got my seeds planted. That was cool. Got all my herbs done and everything. And they've been growing and they're all ready to transplant. I probably should have put them in bigger pots this weekend, but I didn't. I'll tell you what went on this weekend in a little bit. So, and I apologize if you hear snorting, it's my, Floyd is next to me. He is snoring, curled up, and he is snoring. Um, so that might be, you might hear that. So anyway, I planted the seeds and then Floyd's birthday was March 15th. He is an getting to be an old man he is five which I can't believe I kept thinking he was going to be three I've, I've had him at three for I guess two years now so for his birthday I just ended up getting him some treats and um catnip that he shared with Jackie I told him he had to be a good boy and share it with Jackie and he did so that was nice um didn't do anything major the last couple of years I've gotten him like perches and things like that toys but he's not really he has so many toys that he does not play with or he periodically plays with them do your cats do that or your dogs they periodically play with toys and then they leave them and then all of a sudden when you want to throw them out they want it's like that's their favorite toy in the world I, I, I guess children are like that too kind of um, it's the weirdest thing. It drives me nuts. So, uh, yeah. So I got him some toys and stuff. And I've really been on a spring cleaning kick. I'll tell you what started it. Um, I went back to my orthopedic for my knee. And he gave me a... Kind of like a Z-pack of steroids... And they, um, the first day I felt really, really good with them. The second day I still felt pretty good with them. So I had like this burst of energy and all of a sudden I wanted to do all the things in the house because I hadn't been able to do them because my knee was bad. So I started, um, 
started going through some stuff and different things that needed to be done around the house. So, um, just started cleaning out some drawers and things, you know, the typical spring cleaning stuff that needs to be done or whatever. So I've been really doing that. My knee, unfortunately, started hurting again. The steroids didn't last. Uh, on St. Patty's Day, I, or I don't know if it was St. Patty's Day or it was the day before. I can't remember now. It's Everything's blended together. But around St. Patty's Day, I was with my friend's kids and we made a St. Patty's Day cake. So we dyed the inside of the cake green and then we put chocolate uh, frosting and re I think we did rainbow sprinkles. Yeah, we did like rainbow sprinkles and um, they wrote Happy St. Patty's Day on it. They like to bake, so that was cool. I like to bake with the kids, but I found myself being like my grandmother. And it was like my words were my grandmother's words. Like she used to be like, stir more and, you know, make sure you get all the, the stuff and, and things that used to annoy me that she used to say when I was trying to bake with her, I was saying to the kids and it was really funny because I was like, oh my God, I'm my grandmother now. And I had to stop myself. Have you ever done that? I'm sure, like, if you have kids, I'm sure you've done that and your mother, your mother's or your parents' words have come out of your mouth. I don't have kids, so I haven't really had that experience. It was like a whoa moment. It's so really interesting. But anyway, so I did that. And then I played with my vinyl, with my Cricut machine a little bit when I was feeling good. Um, I made a tumbler which was fun. And I wasn't sure I was going to remember how to do it because it had been probably a year since, I hate to admit that, but it had been a year since I'd used the machine. That's, yeah. So I wasn't sure I was going to remember how to do it, but, um, yeah. So I, I took me really no time at all to pick back up on where I was. So I was pretty, on doing it, I was pretty happy about that. So I made a tumbler a uh, couple of weeks ago. That was fun. Got that done. Um, sorry, coffee. And while my knee was good, I started back on my physical therapy exercises because when it was really bothering me, I wasn't so consistent because, and I know that's when you're supposed to be. But I, it was hurting too much, and I was like, yeah, not happening. So I started back on that, so that feels good. I'm trying to push it a little bit, but not too much. Uh, yeah, so what else is going on? I have so many craft ideas in my head that are just scooting around. It's unbelievable. It, it feels kind of really good to be starting to get some of them actually done like the mug that just felt really good to just get something done um have you ever gotten in that space where you just haven't done anything for so long and now it feels good i mean i've been diamond painting for probably since last i think last april it might, it might be coming up on a year diamond painting but um, that's all I've really been doing. So now trying to add other crafts in, where do you find the time? And I have this channel and I have my other channel. So finding the time and with the, um, with my condition, you know, not being able to be upright a lot of the time <laughs> doesn't help. So, uh, yeah, I just... I don't know. Feels good to be able to do something a little bit. So I'm hoping that continues. That would be nice. Um, so then let's see. Like I said, I've been working on the, the DP a lot. Just trying to get it done. I was going to skip the Hannah, Lennel, Hannah Thon, but I know I'm going to be sad if I do. 
because I really want to connect with people in the community. So I'm going to really focus on not doing that. Uh, and I have so many things planned that like I can't wait to get things executed. Like I said, so many things planned in the mind. I don't know if anybody follows, um, oh my gosh, what is her name? Chronically Ill Diva, I think, on Instagram. She, she says it a lot. Like, it's in my mind, and I think I'm going to get it done. And then it just never material. Like, materializing it is the problem. Like, it's in my head. I think I'm going to get it done. I saw something on her Instagram yesterday, I think, where it was like, yeah, it's all in my head. I'm going to get it done. Wake up. I'm going to get it done. Doesn't get done. But anyway. Um, so, Saturday... <laughs> I took a class and got a certificate that I've been wanting to get for 20 years, believe it or not. So that was fun. And then, um, Sunday, I decided that my living room space needed to be cleaned up a little bit because again, along the lines of spring cleaning um it just had a lot of dust and vacuuming that needed to be done um so i got some help and um got the living room tackled moved my desk craft desk again we moved it um it seems a little more manageable this way jackie who's my baby cat got much more space so she's very happy she's got like half the living room to herself floyd has three perches he's happy i have like the couch um but they share it of course and then i have two tables so like everything's kind of clustered but not really but it's workable but I'm hoping to get everything in the next couple of weeks, kind of my printers in and just things kind of um, organized. I don't, if you've been here before, you know that I, I mentioned that um, I'm borrowing a sublimation printer and a DTG machine. So that's going to be fun just to play with um and see what I can come up with and it won't be you know I probably won't do a lot you know all the time with it because I'll be sitting and you know you know how life goes and honestly like I said sitting up or whatever is a lot so whatever um when I can I'll sit up and do my craft and when I can't I won't it's gonna be seeing you know whatever so, I am just very happy, people, to be able to use what energy I have to do what I can. Um, and, I don't know. So, it's beautiful out today. Clear and sunny. It looks like a gorgeous sunny day, but it is freezing. It was in the 70s last week and it is in the 20s this week. Or actually today. I don't know if it's going to be in the 20s all week. So that's interesting. Um, I wasn't expecting it. And I opened the door to get a little air. I don't have any windows in my house that I can open. So I opened the screen door and... Um, it was freezing. I froze my butt off, people. What's it like where you are? Do we have spring yet? This black is so pretty on this. I just want to show you this. 
I don't know if you've seen it, but this black is so much of this painting, but it really, really defines it. Can you see that? It is so much and so thick. Sorry, I just wanted to show you that. I hope I didn't make you dizzy. It is so much and so thick, but it really defines this painting. And I'll tell you, I liked purple before I started this painting. This is kind of funny. I liked purple before I started this painting. I'm not so fond of purple anymore. I can't wait to get into the Hannah uh, painting because there are so many colors in it. This purple background has made me tired of purple. Ugh. I just, it's, it's a lot of color blocking and it's tedious for me. And I used to like color blocking, but now I'm just like, I don't want to color block anymore. Do you get that way? Do you get that way when you're, um, diamond painting where you're just like, no, no more. And I made the mistake of doing all on this section. Anyway, I did all of the color. Oops, that doesn't belong there. I did all of the color. Like the skulls, the, the, the feather, the hand. I did all of the color, the skirt down here, before I did the black and before I did the purple. So I probably should have done the black first, then maybe the feather, then the purple, and then the other colors. Like split it up a little bit. Because these sections these sections are easier to do for me that have confetti in them these are killer and I think that's why I've been so slow in addition to this being a my first square diamond painting I think because of the fact that there's so much of this color blocking and it's just oh it's getting to me I don't know so I'm looking forward to the uh I'm doing mother earth by Hannah Lynn so I can't wait to get that one to get going. Um, I'm trying to decide if I should put this completely aside or keep it out and work on it a little bit, like in between. But I'd probably be better off just boxing it up. I'm not going to um, kit it down because I have boxes to kit, have both of them kit up. I use these from Harbor Freight and I have enough of them to have both kits both canvases kit up so I'm not going to kit it down but I'm thinking I might just fold it up put it away and then when I'm done with the handle and I'll bring it back out that way I'm not feeling you know pressured to finish this one but I'm really one of those people who likes to finish a project before I start another one are you like that um when I quilted in, if you quilt or if you sew or know anybody that does, there's something called UFOs. So it's unfinished objects is what it is. And a lot of my friends have like 30, 40 unfinished projects or pigs, uh, projects, in projects in grocery, like in brown grocery bags. I was never able to work on two quilting projects at a time because it stresses my brain out too much. I need to work on a project from start to finish. So this is going to be the first time for me not finishing a project before I start a new one. So this will be an interesting experience for me. We'll see how I like it. Hopefully I don't, you know, turn over a new leaf of having a million unfinished projects because chaos does not work with me um but maybe i need some chaos in my life who knows maybe chaos will be good for me so yeah it's a miracle i got through my grad school and everything else with all those um projects open at the same time i don't know how i did it because i like everything neat and complete and in its spot and I'm like very OCD like that. Anybody else like that? And I know I'm a crafter, so it's weird that I'm very OCD. But when I'm done with my crafting every day, everything, or even if I'm done for like an hour, everything's got to go back in its spot. I might be working on a project later, but 
for now, everything goes in its spot and it goes away. I'm very systematically organized like that. I can't leave stuff out. It drives me bananas. So, oh look, I'm almost done with the black in this. Yay, hopefully by the time we're done with this whipping chat, I'll have all the black done. And I still have not watched, this is how crazy my week weekend was. I usually, Saturday mornings, I usually watch um, Miss, C Miss Coffee because I can never stay up to watch her at night. Um, yeah, I'm an early bird. And then I watch Ruby Q. But Saturday morning, like I said, I had a class that I, a certification class that I've been wanting to take for no joke, 24 years, this course has been coming and I finally took it. So I did that on Saturday. So I didn't have my Saturday morning to watch it. And then yesterday I was um, doing the living room. So I didn't watch it yesterday. So after I finished this today, the filming the whipping chat, I want to watch Mrs. Coffee and um, because I want to catch up on what's going on with her. And um, then I'm going to leave, I think I'm going to leave this video to edit tonight. And that way, Tuesday, you guys will have this video to watch because I just need the time of decompressing my own brain and just kind of DPing and decompressing and listening to somebody else talk for a while. So that's a my plan. But I'm glad that I'm getting this much black done. I don't mind the black um, color blocking. It's this muted purple tone that's killing me. Like that lavender. Ugh, it's just so blah. I think I thought when I got this painting, I think I thought it would be a brighter purple. And um, now I'm thinking I'm gonna hang this in my bedroom because I thought it would be, I don't know, what do you guys think? I thought it would be a pretty like feminine, delicate painting to go in the bedroom and then have my bedroom, like my bedding and stuff based off of this. So I could do like a lavender, bed spread my walls are like a gray color so I was thinking like a lavender bed spread and then maybe I could do teal accents or something but I'm very much a color person um yeah I like colors so I thought that I'm either going to do that or I saw I saw a couple of uh somewhat risque black and white dps on etsy of like half naked men and women together. I don't wanna do just a man, but I thought like a couple would be pretty. Like a couple embraced both, um, they're both bare chested and they're embraced. It's really pretty and, and it's like a gray tone, but <laughs> here's the thing, if this muted, Lavender is killing me. Gray tones are probably going to drive me to drink. Has anyone done a gray tone? And how hard was it? Please tell me. Oh, the other thing I'm looking forward to about the Hannah um, DP is it's round. I cannot wait to get back to a round uh, diamond painting. I'm curious to see, I think it's the same size as this one, but I'm curious to see if it goes faster because it's round. That'll be interesting for me. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, okay, so I'm gonna do a post, post review of this whenever I finish it. I'm gonna take, before I box this up, I am going to take notes because I don't wanna forget. But um, there was a lot of, I guess it's it's normal for blacks to have a lot of um, for the black drills to have a lot of uh, what do you call it? 
trash in it. But there was like, I feel like a ton of trash in, in these drills. Um, also, I had drill popping, which I'm not sure if it was due to the drills or due to it being my first time doing a square diamond painting. So we'll have to see. Um, so I have like quite a few actual comments on this canvas. So that'll be interesting to do it. I've never done a post review on a kit. So that should be fun to do, right? I've never done it before. It's always fun to do something new. All right. Let's see. Should I keep you with me or should I let you go? Do I have anything else to talk to you about? Um, what's coming up for me? Nothing really. Uh... I met some cool people at, okay, so this is kind of fun. I met some cool people at the um, class I took. And it was really interesting because we were all saying how, you know, online communities are cool, but, you know, it's, it's hard to meet people that you can hang out with, really, that have similar interests to you. So... You know, it was fun. It was a nice day to spend with new people. And actually, the group is going to do, hopefully, do like an art thing where we get together and do a paint night, which would be awesome because I'm not good at painting. That's the one craft I'm not so good at. Um, yeah, I try. I really would love to be good at painting. But no, I'm not so good at it. And I can admit that. But um, I want to try and learn, honestly. Like, I'd like to get a canvas and just sit and work with acrylics and stuff. But who ha- Like, I don't- I don't have the energy to do that. I always wanted to do, like, sit with Bob Ross and just sit and do happy trees. And, you know, but uh, I never got there. My dad was a great- is a great artist, painter, um, draws great, all that stuff. But I don't think, I don't think I um, inherited that from him. I'm really not sure because I never really sat and tried to develop the ability. But, um, so anyway, we might do a paint night. So that would be like so fun to do. Um, so. So that's that. Um, I think I'm going to stop here because I think I've talked your ear off enough. And I think I'm going to save whatever else I might have to say for the next whip and chat, which will be at the end of the week when I kit up Hannah, guys. I'm so excited. Look how much I got done. I'm almost done with the black. Yay. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for letting me ramble, for being interested in what I have to say. <laughs> I feel like you guys are all my friends, even though I don't know you um, in person, but it's awesome to be connecting online. So thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that like button for me. If you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? You can hear me blab every week in a whip and chat and see all of my kits on see all of my kits as they come in i will unbox them see all of my crafts unboxed i have a couple of more at the moment a couple of more unboxings coming on their way from etsy so you get to see all of those if you subscribe and um yeah it's fun to be part of the family so what are you waiting for all right, guys, as I always say, be happy, be creative, and above all, be you because no one else can be you. I'll talk to you real soon.